is, is it is is does it work okay hi this is hero management one of the more important things that everyone screws up in ebony okay your heroes hopefully you will have watched the hero hunting guide that i've already put on here if you haven't stop this video and go watch it because i'm not going to explain all the stuff from before okay those people are gone look you've got your guy you're at your heroes now you got your nine heroes you got your mayor you got your intelligence hero you got your main attack hero and then you've got your five other heroes that have not received any experience points right you've been farming with them and you haven't given them an experience points good good job three should have experience points and should be upgraded constantly the other five should not those five are your five they're possibly going to give you medals and other stuff that are going to be dropped from npcs when you hit them because they're going to stay at low levels level one level two level three wherever they were when you record uh when you um, recruited them okay you want your attack hero your main number one attack hero guy to be leveled up because the higher his level the less time it takes you to, to train troops in the barracks you want your intelligence hero because the less the higher his intelligence is the less time it will take you to research technologies in the academy you want your politics hero high because your politics hero is your mayor your number one normal all the time mayor what he does is he decreases the amount of time it takes to um did i say increases for the other stuff pay no attention to it if i said the wrong thing there will be pop-ups pointing out what i said wrong um your mayor with a high politics uh increases the amount of food uh iron lumber stone uh that you produce in uh, uh in your city and it decreases the amount of time it takes to build or tear down um buildings what's little known is that the higher politics hero as mayor also decreases the amount of time it takes you to build wall defenses you'd think it should be the uh, attack hero but it's not it's the politics hero I can't explain. I'm shrugging. You can't see. I'm, I can't explain it, but it is true. I've tested it. If you don't believe me, go test it yourself. Can't believe you don't believe me. That really, that really hurts. I'm over it. Okay. Your other guys, the other five guys, you're going to leave them at low levels until they have 30 to 40 million experience. And I'm not exaggerating. 30 to 40 million experience. Then you go ahead and give it to them all. Okay. By this time, you hopefully are going to have most of the uh, um, medals that you really need. Okay. Uh, um, now you're going, oh my god, but what if I lose a battle? Because you guys should still have an attack of 65 to 70, even higher if you got really lucky. All right. And you're sitting on all that experience. Your archery hopefully will be high. Your horseback riding should be high and one step below your archery, except for when you hit the level 10 for both. Um, so you shouldn't have that big of a problem with, uh, excuse me, losing. Uh, uh, anything on an NPC level 5 okay and just so you know you can take a low level hero uh, low attack hero and attack a an NPC level 10 if you want to and still survive as long as you send the right amount of warriors or and archers and whatever same thing with an NPC level 8 or whatever they'll still survive and they'll get a buttload that's a whole bunch by the way so it's, it's an actual number it's like a Googleplex but it's not it's a buttload um, you're going to get a buttload of experience, which is great, but we're not covering that here right now. Look for that in another tutorial. Right now, we're just covering hero management. Now, if you have more than one city, that's great. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. You should have more than one city, but watch those town halls. The more town halls you have, the more levels of town halls you have, the less uh, prestige you gain. It's a long story, and we're not going to get into it right now. Believe me, it's true. Um, have one in. Just one. You don't need inns in all of your cities. Have one inn and recruit from there and then send out heroes to the other cities. That way you can then, you know, spread them out uh, amongst the, the, you know, the barbarians, whatever. Um, you can also then use the space that you were going to put that in in your other cities uh, to good use as a barracks. So, uh, how do you keep track of these guys? Well, everyone has their own way. Um, some people like more um, poetic uh, approaches like Champagne, who did not like my opinion of how to do it, but that's okay. I'm very, uh, um, uh, whatever, you know, very Germanic about this. I just name my guys ATT 63, ATT 64, ATT 68, whatever. 
Um, and if I have like multiples or when I'm ready all set, I then do one ATT 68, two ATT 67, whatever it is, because the base number is that number at the end of the ATT, uh, but it's not going to re represent his actual attack, because what if he's level 5? You know, base attack is 66, he's level 5, he's got an attack of 71. I put the highest attack number is 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, with ATT and then his base number behind it. You do that, that way you know where you guys are at until you've leveled them up. Once you've leveled them up, just put them as attack 1, attack 2, attack 3, attack 4, attack 5. Alright? Uh... Everything else, you can pretty much do what you want to. I like using, um, for my main mayor, my main attack guy, my main intelligence guy, real names. I'll give them a name, and then I'll put a letter at the end to represent what they do. Um, all of my mayors are just named Mayor. My politics heroes are just named Mayor. Mayor works. Uh, intelligence, you just do, like, Daniel I. Whatever. For attack, you do um, Centuri A. Capital A, capital I at the end of it. That way you know what they're for. It's pretty easy, and you get to know your guy. That's your number one dude. You don't want to lose him, you know? I know a lot of people have Centuri as a uh, as a uh, hero, which is frightening. So, in all, do that. Uh, um, yeah, I guess for, you just, just do thus upon ye as, I don't even know, I just have to say thus or you guys get mad at me. So there you go. That's what we've covered for uh, uh, hero management in the game of Ebony for... Dark Cove on Server 88. This is DJ Tiny Tim, signing out. <laughs>